This is Total Television reporting from the FTTH Council meeting in Milan where I'm talking to Martin Cook who is the group chairman of CTTS. Martin, your organisation has grown a lot in the last few years and you've become very well respected as the training experts in this whole arena. What are some of the big issues now currently facing the industry in terms of training? Okay, well, the, the build of super high-speed broadband fibre optic networks is the engineering skills is not like dealing with copper coaxial cables and copper cables. Therefore, the engineering skills of the installation, the planning, the design, the activation of a fibre optic fibre fibre to the home network is going to be absolutely mission critical to get it right, to keep the maintenance down, keep the fault calls down. Fibre is a little bit more finesse is required, the cleanliness is required of connectors and the bending parameters of the actual cables and they that are important and of course the actual splicing and jointing of the fibres, the hand skills and the skills of the engineering is going to be so so important. And these were skills that, that somehow the industry lost in these difficult times we face, but I guess you're getting more and more demand now as more and more fibres getting into the network. Absolutely, and as new products come along pretty much on a monthly basis, and the new products, there is skill fade out there, and the new products are going to need to be, uh, the training is going to need to be assessed and then delivered on those new products. Now, I know you're based in the UK, but I think you're very much an international operation now. Absolutely, globally. We have training today going on in at least five, five different countries and across different continents in different languages. Well, that's amazing. And I think this event is pretty amazing. I remember being quite impressed last year when I went to Lisbon. But the situation, there's even more people here this year. Absolutely. I was involved with the inaugural event in Brussels some eight years ago now, and it's grown tenfold since then. And we can see today at least about 4,000 people attending. OK, well, thanks very much for talking to us. It's a pleasure. Thanks, Brian.